Welcome to the Bobby Wallace Show. Here are your hosts, Coach Bobby Wallace and Jeff Hodges. Hello and welcome to this week's edition of the Bobby Wallace Show. I'm Jeff Hodges along with UNA head football coach Bobby Wallace. And Coach Wallace, the UNA Lions went on the road and got a huge 45-7 win at West Alabama. And in a game where you're expecting a tough battle, it's always great when you can get an early turnover. In this case, on the first play of the game, you're able to score immediately and really took that momentum and got three touchdowns in the first quarter. Well, that really helped us get the crowd out. It was a great crowd tonight because this is their first home game and I knew it would be. And, uh, and of course, the, you know, our, the rivalry between the two in-state schools. But... Uh, that play was big, uh, and their tight end caught the ball in the flat, and uh, that would have been uh, uh, Levi Fell coming up and uh, uh, hitting him and uh, knocking the ball loose and us being able to get on it before it went out of bounds. So that was a great – and then we converted. That was the biggest part of it is that then the offense went out there and put seven points on the board. Before you knew it, it was 7 nothing, and really gave us a momentum and uh, took their crowd out of it and was uh, probably, I guess, right off the bat, biggest play of the game. And you knew their offense was going to be effective and they had some great playmakers. They came out and ran 54 plays in the first half, but you had a big fourth down stop, you blocked a field goal, and you made some key stops to keep them off the scoreboard. Well, our defense, I, you know, I, from just what I saw tonight, not looking at the film, I, I don't know how I could uh, uh, complain about the defense. They played extremely well, made a lot of things happen, uh, made some big plays. Uh, and, and, and again, we're keeping people out of the end zone that are throwing it like this. You know, they're moving the ball a little bit and they, they're getting some first downs, but you know, they're on, well, there's old saying, you know, that they're on scholarship too, you know, mm -hmm. so, yep. that, you yep. know they're, they're recruited players and they can make plays. And uh, so they're moving the, uh, the chains a little bit, but uh, they're having a hard time getting the ball in the end zone. And, you know, I'll take that any day. We'll take a quick break and we'll have highlights when we come back. The Bobby Wallace Show is brought to you by TNT Fireworks. The Robert Trent Jones Golf Trail and the Marriott of the Shoals Hotel and Spa. And by Little Steve's. TNT Fireworks is a proud sponsor of UNA Lions football and the Coach Bobby Wallace Show and wishes them good luck in their quest for a Division II national championship. TNT Fireworks has fundraising opportunities available for your nonprofit organization or group. Earn high profits in a short period of time selling TNT's quality products. Call us today or visit us on the web at TNTfireworks.com. Remember, if it's not TNT, it's not fireworks. Roar Lions! Alabama's got the best in luxury hotels and golf, and the numbers to prove it. Number one out of all 333 Marriott's for golf, the Marriott Shoals Hotel, and the Robert Trent Jones Golf Trail at the Shoals. Number two out of all Marriott's for spa, Marriott Shoals Hotel and Spa. Luxurious rooms with a view of the Tennessee River, plus two world-class golf courses ranked in the top 10 nationally. Call 1-800-949-4444 today to book your reservations at the Shoals. When you support Little Steve's Convenience Stores, you're supporting small American family-owned businesses. They, in turn, support our high schools, community, and the University of North Alabama. When you buy snacks, drinks, and other items from Little Steve's, you're saying, we believe in America. Little Steve's, six locations in Florence, Pine Street, Florence Boulevard, at the corner of Helton Drive and Cox Creek Parkway, Cloverdale Road, Petersville, Woodward Avenue and Muscle Shoals, and Jackson Highway in Sheffield. Little Steve's, believe in America. The Mahindra Red Tag Sale means it's time to gear up for special savings, like zero interest for up to 84 months or up to 7,200 in cash back and savings. So take home the toughest tractor on earth with the industry's best seven year warranty and leave your neighbor green with envy. As we get ready to look at our first half highlights, we'll just talk a little bit about that first half. But as we mentioned, the Lions 24 to seven lead going into intermission, three quick touchdowns. Jacob Tucker did a good job running the football. You also want to get Dre Hall more involved, and you certainly did that this week. Well, we did, and uh, uh, Jacob Thomas made a great play on the scramble from uh, Jacob Tucker and uh, set up a touchdown. And you know, it's kind of funny uh, they ran so many plays in the first half. We came up in halftime, and, and you feel like we didn't play real well. And you look at the scoreboard, and it's 24-7. And, you know, that's the kind of the same, same thing that happened with Valdosta. I, I didn't think we were playing that good, but, you know, then you look at the score, and my goodness, I mean, you know, it's 24-7, ends up being 45-7. to So, you know, 
Uh, maybe, you know, I, I just want us to be as good as we can be, and, and I don't know whether we've reached that potential yet, but uh, in fact, I'd say we have not, and that's what we need to strive for. But uh, to get that kind of win was great. West Alabama dominated time of possession the first half. They ran 54 plays, but UNA dominated on the scoreboard and takes a 24-7 lead into the half. We'll look at those highlights right now. The sunlight, Kevin, approaches, kicks the football. It is a good kick, deep, caught in the end zone. Coming out of the end zone is number eight, D. Virgin, bounces off one lion at the 20 and spins forward to the 26-yard line. A transfer from Middle Tennessee who had a shoulder separation. Grammar play action, fires the ball out to the right side. Caught there, fumbled. He caught it, fumbled the ball on the turf. Signal is UNA will get the first turnover on the first play of the football game. We'll move Damon Cox now back to the right side. Fakes to Damon, goes up the middle. Jacob Tucker into the open, gets all the way up inside the 10, inside the five-yard line. Left shoulder is Damon Cox of Jacob Tucker, takes the snap, goes toward the end zone. Jacob falls into the end zone. Touchdown, Lions! Touchdown, Lions! 13-53 still on the game clock, a minute, seven seconds in. Lions with a turnover and converted into a touchdown. Great start, UNA. Transfer from Georgia Southern directly behind Grammar. Grammar straight back, looks to his right, fires the ball out, going up high. Thomas directly behind his quarterback, Austin Grammar. Grammar straight back, fires a little slant pass across the middle, caught there. Handoff in the backfield to number six who just came into the game. That's Richard Lee, a junior, 5'7", 180 pounder from Pensacola, number 39 for West Alabama, kicks the ball. It's gonna be high and at about the five yard line. Philbert Marshall at the far side. Watch the out. numbers breaks into the open, oh. will slip and fall as he tried to make a cut. <laughs> Back out, actually, yeah, it is Jacob. Yep. We'll hand off to Ray Beasley, goes around left end, makes one man miss at the line of scrimmage, and will go straight down the sideline. Tight end right, two flankers to that side. Hand off Beasley, this time around right end. Good blocking, we'll cut it up at the hash mark. Cox to the right shoulder. Tucker with the football, straight back, looks. Now under pressure, rolls again to his right, fires the ball down the field, has a receiver wide open, oh. and a great catch on the sidelines. Jacob Thomas, number 13, got behind the defense. The pass on the run by Jacob Tucker went about 45 to 50 yards. 51-yard pass by Tucker. Tucker again with a snap, again at right guard. This time will bull his way into the end zone. Touchdown, Lions. It's a array of talent. Austin Grammer back in, hands off to Kendrick Thomas, who goes around much at the end of the line, just right off the tackle. Grammer straight back, looks left. Somebody coming across the middle. Now he's in trouble. Shakes off one tackler. It's going to be spun down. Sack, a big star sack. That'll bring on the punter, Reed, who will shank it off the side of his foot. Slot to the right side, single receiver left. Play action, pass out, Dre Hall with the catch in the right flat. will turn it up at the numbers, gets inside the 30 to the 29-yard line to the left side. The ball on the right, hash mark, slot to the near side. Play action again, Jacob Tucker right straight back, has an open receiver at the 10-yard line with the catch. First down, Beasley again to the right shoulder of Tucker. Tucker will turn, hands off to Beasley. Beasley dances in off his right guard. Easy touchdown, Lions! For UNA this season. Drills the ball over toward that corner. Caught there by Savage. He'll come out of the end zone. Tries to come around to the near side. His left will be ran down short of the 20 yard line. Both sides, pistol formation. Thomas behind Grammar. Grammar will throw the ball down and looking in a seam in the zone, same formation except the tight end now will stand on the right side, motion from the right side across to the left side, floods the zone out here, oh. and dropping the football was Oof. number two, a 39-yard field goal attempt. Good snap, good, hold blocked, blocked. 
The ball is blocked. Getting in, I believe, was number 91, yep. Tyler Smith, who comes off with his hands held high. Pistol formation. Grammer straight back, fires the ball across the middle and going to be caught right there and dropped immediately was number 11. Caught the 31-yard line of UNA. Here they go again. Grammer looks to the right side, oh. almost intercepted out there. Here Quickly, they here they go. Again, the inside handoff. Lee is going to be hit. He's going to be hit. Dorsey Norris comes up. The big safety will plant him in the backfield. That will turn it over to the Lions. Beasley is his running back. Straight back, here comes pressure. Tucker stands in, now will dance to the left side, stops, plants, fires it down the middle of the field. Dre Hall at the 40 will try to spin out of a tackle. Slot left off the tight end. Quick pass to that tight end. Mediano at the 50 will be upended at the 45. That gets it back to a second down nine after the penalty. Tucker rolls right. Julius Jones open on the right side. Will catch it on the sidelines. Takes three red shirts with him. Down. Ball on the 27 of West Alabama. Second down 10. Tucker play action. Straight back. No pressure. Now will fire the ball. Looks into the end zone. Jay oh, Ramson right. goes up. Can't control the ball. Got both hands on it. Tucker will have Beasley to his left shoulder. Counter to Beasley off right guard. Breaks one tackle but will be corralled before he can get out into the open. He'll be brought down. Will Loveless will snap. Good snap, good hold. The kick drilled it. 43-yard field goal attempt is good. Kevin Hinkey. The Bobby Wallace Show is brought to you by Shoals Distributing and Budweiser and by Southern Fastening. One, two, and three bedroom rental units in Shoals are affordable when you rent from a family owned business that's been around since 1959. Brinks Apartments started three generations ago and now features more than 500 units across 20 locations, providing comfortable, affordable, and convenient living. Check out Oak Ridge, less than a mile from the UNA campus. Enjoy personal parking and lounge by the pool at Stonebrook Apartments on Cox Boulevard. Brink Apartments, family owned since 1959. Changing your oil with Napa know-how. First drain it, then filter it, and fill it up with fresh Napa synthetic. Boom, done. Now do your wife a solid and take the mother-in-law out for a Sunday drive. Mission accomplished. Never ready with you again. Conquer the job like you conquer life with Napa know-how. When you support Little Steve's Convenience Stores, you're supporting small American family-owned businesses. They, in turn, support our high schools, community, and the University of North Alabama. When you buy snacks, drinks, and other items from Little Steve's, you're saying, we believe in America. Little Steve's, six locations in Florence, Pine Street, Florence Boulevard, at the corner of Helton Drive and Cox Creek Parkway, Cloverdale Road, Petersville, Woodward Avenue and Muscle Shoals, and Jackson Highway in Sheffield. Little Steve's, believe in America. First, there was hammer and nail, then air-powered pneumatics, followed by cordless tools, both gas and battery powered. Now, from Senco, the leader in the power fastening industry, there is Fusion Technology. Power fastening with no gas, no hose, no competition. Senco's Fusion Technology creates the first true cordless pneumatic nailers. Five distribution centers in the southeast as a Southern Fastening Systems representative nearby to serve you. Southern Fastening Systems and Senco Brands, a team that can be beat. Coach Wallace, the UNA Lions led 24-7 at the half, and you came out to start the second half 
your first two possessions, you had drives of 75 and 80 yards and really just ended the game at that point. But that had to be very satisfying to be able to come out and move the ball like that. I was very proud of our offensive football team because, you know, you go in 24 to 7 at halftime. Uh, you, and we didn't feel like we'd played that well the first half. And we still didn't have, have I think we were 2 and 9 in third down conversions. And then we came out in, in, the, in the final was, you know, we were 9 for 17, I think, in a third down and the fourth down conversion. And uh, so, you know, we got so much better at, at, at converting the downs and then that kept, kept us, we had the ball. I took the field goal off the board one time because I really just wanted to eat up more clock and, and keep our defensive off the defense off the field. It was a great kick by Kevin, but I, and I hated to do it to him. But, but then, you know, I wanted to just go down there and score. And I think we ended up going back down and kicking another field goal you anyway. You 43 for 22, yeah. but, but still uh, three points. But, you know, so offensively, we met the challenge in the second half. When you're ahead, putting a team away like that. And I thought that was a great job. And similar to the Valdosta game, once you got that big lead and were able to put the game away, you were able to play a lot of people. You played a lot of different backs. You are able to spread the ball around to a lot of receivers. And Blake Hawkins had a good touchdown drive there at the end. Oh, that was great. And a great play. Great heads-up play by Blake and uh, uh, Malik Emmett. Uh, uh, on making that play, getting it down there to the goal line. And uh, then he did a great job reading the zone uh, option and uh, the zone read, which is, uh, you know, we're, we're, we're still, you know, we don't practice full speed and we're trying to stay healthy. We've had so many injuries this year. And uh, it's hard to get that read down when you don't do it full speed uh, with the quarterback where he's reading the, de the defensive end or the end of the line of scrimmage. and. Uh, we missed some of those in the first half, and then when we miss it, it looks like we're not blocking somebody uh, because that person is unblocked that makes the tackle. Uh, so we just got to try to manipulate a way to uh, get a little faster reaction uh, in practice at, at reading that uh, the zone read, and I think that'll really help us a lot. Uh, Ray Beasley looked like he was really, you know, kind of coming to his own, kind of like uh, uh, Humphreys last week when uh, Terrence, when you know, as soon as he looks good, he get, goes down with an injury and. Uh, uh, so we got to see how his ankle's going to be, and and you know we can't work four backs all the time, so we got to kind of narrow that down some, somehow this week. Here come your second half highlights right now. Be going left to right to begin this third quarter. The kick is off. It is up. It is deep into the end zone where it will bounce harmlessly and will be a touchback. Nine slot right. Running backs on either side. Here is Tucker. Fakes it to Cox. Will. Go off the left side, good blocking. Evans will get over on the sidelines and the flag as Jacob Tucker, the left side, slot to the right side. Tucker, play action, fires to Jones, who wow. makes the catch. The wow. defensive back, D. Virgin, went for the interceptions in front of Damon Cox, left of Jacob Tucker, slot to the right side, play action. Jacob straight back over the middle. Dre Hall sliding catch inside at the 15, make it the 14-yard line. In the third quarter, Lions with this possession. Hand off, Damon Cox up the middle. Offensive line has blocked well in this third quarter drive. Play action, pass out, Dre Hall gets a block from Ramson, will catch the ball at the 13, left of Jacob Tucker, slot left, single receiver right. Here goes Cox around the right end, breaks a tackle at the seven, surges forward from the 10, will left of Tucker. Tucker will take it, go behind those guys, goes around left end, racing toward the corner, Jacob Tucker gets to the pylon, touchdown Lions. Tell you what, you won't find many players tougher than Jacob Tucker. He knew he was going to get hit right over by the pylon. No problem. Just ducks his head and gets into the end zone. Nick Taylor to the right shoulder of Jacob Tucker. Tucker with the snap straight back under pressure. Fires the ball out and a great pass. Caught at the 35-yard line by UNA's Dre Hall. That was great. Campbell. Tucker play action. Fires a pass open down the right sideline as Julius Jones drops the football. Oh, my, Julius wide open. He got behind D. Virgin. Slot right, single receiver left. Tucker, play action. Looks to his right, fires it out. Dre Hall with a catch right on the sidelines. He did a great move to stand up defensive ends. Tucker straight back, fires it out. Dre Hall catches it at the 45, tries to get away, can't but will be from the sidelines, sets the Lions. There's the snap. Quick pass to Julius Jones, wide open on the left side. 
Same formation, except Cox to the left shoulder. Fake to Cox, inside run by Jacob Tucker. Jones, single receiver to the left side. Handoff, Damon Cox off his left tackle, breaks a tackle, fights for yardage, gets inside the 20, pushed out of bounds. Idiano right, two flankers off him. Cox to his right side. Jacob straight back. Will try to float a pass. Tucker will hand off to Cox. Cox off his left guard. Will be stacked up and pushed back. Single receiver left. Tucker straight back. Looks, looks. Now fires into the end zone. Dre Hall found an opening. Will flip the ball to the official. Trot nonchalantly to the sidelines. Dre Hall been there, done that. Grammer straight back, fires it out to his left, hits a receiver out there, he breaks a tackle, and will get up to the 50 yard to either side. Pistol formation, Thomas behind Grammer. Grammer straight back, throwing every play, will drop it to Thomas, who will drop the football, which is a good thing. Three receivers left, single receiver right, quick pass out to his big tight end, who is chopped down immediately by Filbert Marshall. Three wide outs right, single receiver left, Grammer straight back, throws it deep down the right side, has Davis out there, who had the ball tipped away by number four. Same formation, Grammer straight back on this fourth down, fires the ball out, incomplete, that'll turn it over to the Lions. Hawkins at quarterback. Hands off to Nick Taylor. Taylor around the left end will make it to the sideline. Slot to the right side, tight end left. Here's Hawkins going left. We'll find a little running room. Still tight end left. Hawkins turns, hands off to Taylor. Good blocking right up mm -hmm. the middle. Taylor explodes as Emmett is to the left. Emmett with a handoff goes off his left guard, surges forward. Cody Vaughn with a snap, Hawkins straight back, steps forward, rolls to his right, flips the ball open to a wide open Malik Emmett at the 10 yard line. He falls forward to about the three where he is totally upended right there. But Inside handoff, nope, Hawkins oh, will. Oh my goodness. What slick ball handling, wow. fake it inside, and Hawkins, like he was on a stroll out, out at Divert Park, just walks into the right <laughs> corner. The Bobby Wallace Show is brought to you by Hi, I'm Bobby Wallace, and I would like to invite you to shop with my friends at Hometown Market, located in the Seven Point Shopping Center in Florence. Hometown Market can supply all your grocery needs, with a large selection of groceries, fresh fruits, and vegetables at their everyday low prices. Their meat market offers a wide variety of fresh meats cut daily by the qualified meat cutters. Look for the other Hometown Market locations in Athens, Decatur, Hartzell, and Aniana. Hometown Market, 1421 North Wood Avenue in the Seven Point Shopping Center. TNT Fireworks is a proud sponsor of UNA Lions football and the Coach Bobby Wallace Show and wishes them good luck in their quest for a Division II national championship. TNT Fireworks has fundraising opportunities available for your nonprofit organization or group. Earn high profits in a short period of time selling TNT's quality products. Call us today or visit us on the web at TNTfireworks.com. Remember, if it's not TNT, it's not fireworks. Roar Lions! TVA Community Credit Union is proudly open to the entire community, offering unequaled service and convenience. They are the TVA Community Credit Union, and they make you feel like you're part of the community, part of the family. Customer service is great. I mean, they're, they're great with my wife and I and my daughter. We bought all of our houses, all of our cars, everything through them. With a little one running around, I don't have a lot of time. 
So it's real simple just to pull my mobile up and go straight to the site and check my account. I recommend them all the time, to be honest with you. For one, I mean, their rates are great. Try to work with you to get you the lowest rates, to get you where you need to be, to set you up for the future. Don't feel like I'm a number at all. I feel like I'm a part of the family. From mobile banking to the latest platform in online banking, we make managing your financing fast and easy. Our members are the owners of our credit union, so there are no high-priced stockholders to pay, allowing us to give our members totally free accounts and amazing loan rates. TVA Community Credit Union, everybody's credit union. Changing your oil with Napa know-how. First drain it, then filter it, and fill it up with fresh Napa synthetic. Boom, done. Now do your wife a solid and take the mother-in-law out for a Sunday drive. <laughs> Mission accomplished. Never ready with you again. Conquer the job like you conquer life with Napa Know How. Very excited about being here. Very excited that you're here. Uh, you know, it just means a lot to me, and uh, it's a great way to get started. I've got a lot invested in this university, and I love this university. Tractor buyers, Mahindra is tripling the value of our tractors with the 777 promotion. Get the industry's best seven-year limited powertrain warranty, plus seven years 0% financing, plus a seven-year service plan with a customer rebate on genuine Mahindra oil and parts. So work smarter, not harder, with the toughest tractors on earth. Welcome back to the Bobby Wallace Show. Coach Wallace, Jacob Tucker with an outstanding night. He rushed for 39 yards and three touchdowns. He threw for 271 and another score. And really, they were really coming after him, and he was under a lot of pressure. He took a few sacks, but he was able to avoid a few, made some great plays, and really helped move the team. Well, he's, he's, he's doing a great job being a leader and fighting out there, making some mistakes. But, you know, again, his experience is uh, limited. You know, over a five-year span of, of how much playing time he's actually gotten, he'll – uh, you know, we look for him to get better at, at, at a lot of things. Sometimes he held the ball a little too long. Sometimes he, you know, we wanted him to throw the football, but you know, you, it's hard to know what he's seeing. Uh, it's easy from the sideline of the stands, but sometimes it's hard to, with the, all the offensive and defensive linemen in front of you, uh, knowing what you see. But he's competing and he's giving our team a leader, and uh, that's the biggest thing he can do for us. And uh, I think he's doing a great job. We had gained 472 yards in the game, held them to 262, and I think the, as many plays as they ran, their up tempo offense, you got to be pleased with that. Oh, absolutely. I mean, you know, that's it's uh, kind of like opposite of Valdosta where the statistics didn't, uh, you know, they, they do tell the story on this game. and. Uh, and, you know, I thought our defense just did a super, super job. I mean, I, I, you know, I, us stopping the run in a three-man front was big for the game. Your third-ranked team in four weeks coming up next week at home against West Georgia is going to be a great challenge. Well, it is. I mean, we all know how good a football team they've got. And, uh, and you know, we'll be, you know, it'll be an emotional week of practice and play next Saturday. And we've got a, a, a I mean, they're a great football team, and that's why they're number three in the country. And uh, we got to prove that we belong there. The Lions hosting West Georgia at Brawley Stadium, 6 p.m. Hope to see you there. <laughs>